today I'm today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to use the setting of the Terminator 2 as I had a lot of you requesting uh, to post because apparently it seems to not be very clear so um, first of all you need to switch on the machine obviously with the button and the screen will light up and it will prompt you um, to enter if you're using a single needle so basically you are have three options you can use uh, the terminator with a single needle cartridge with nine needles or 12. so it is extremely important you answer this question correctly and i will explain you why so let's say you're using a single needle a nine needle or a, no, let's say a 12 so you're obviously going to answer no to this so these uh, buttons that are the speed and depth actually have the function of uh, acting as a yes or no so this one the speed will be your yes and no is going to be your no i find it quite intuitive so it might not be for everyone uh, but basically you're using a single needle no and then you're using a nine needles no 12 needles then yes you're using a 12 needle cartridge also answer correctly before swapping um, basically um, every time you change cartridge um, you need to switch on and off the machine again because otherwise once you finish your cycle it will prompt you to start the timer again but it will start the timer based on the needles you have installed in the machine so you need to reset the machine switch off and on again the button so the screen will prompt you again with the length of the needle you want to input and another important thing is that you need to answer the number of needles correctly because uh, there is a trick that you can use voluntarily if you are actually needing to use a needle if you want to use a needle that is deeper than two millimeters but it could be very dangerous if you are actually using the wrong cartridge uh, so the uh, one needle setting has uh, the possibility of needle deeper than what is set so if you use um one needle but you tell the machine you are using a 9 or 12 needle the machine will punch deeper than the stated 2.5 millimeter so this trick you make the one needle cartridge go deeper and the range will be from 125 to 3. 5 millimeters so this is my this might be something you want to do and you want to use in the future if you have a deep car for example but this needs to be uh, done with some professional ad advice because it could be damaging nerves so I would uh, suggest that you always use the machine with the correct setting just so you know it's good to know that it's really important you set the right needles and it's really important to know that you can actually have a trick to go deeper if needed with that said okay i have a timer and here the only option is to press ok and so i would press ok and now you have an option to use uh, to specify the surface you want to needle in inches or centimeters so centimeters for me makes more sense and now you need to enter the length and the width of the area you want to punch so let's say I want to do five centimeters so what you're gonna do you're gonna use the speed button 
and tap until you get the desired number of centimeters. Five, and then OK. You press OK. Now you have to enter the width of the skin area. Let's say you want to do another five centimeters. And then you press OK. Then you can either go back and cancel your setting and start from the beginning or actually turn on the timer. So once you press OK, the timer won't switch on immediately. So don't worry, you can press OK. The machine won't start punching straight away. Now you have the option to finally have these buttons, the speed and death, to actually do what they say. They are not anymore the yes or no or the OK buttons. In this screen, you can set the speed with the speed button and the death with the death button. So what do you want to do now? Uh, usually, leave the speed too slow. Um, that's because as soon as you start entering the death, the, the machine will start punching. And you can see if you are using slow, speed you have three minutes left to punch if you're now gonna set medium you have one minute and 44 seconds time to punch with the 12 needles so you can see actually the number of needles set in the machine is right here and if you actually select the speed too fast you have 17 seconds so by the time you kind of get used to your movement the timer is out so I would suggest to always start with slow and then set the death. Let's say you want to achieve a 1.5 millimeters and the timer will run out slow so you don't have a problem. You can have all your time to put the needle on the skin and find your way with the movement. The rotating movement is advised. So you're going to set quickly 1.5 five and you can hear the machine is starting and only once you're comfortable and already on your skin with the tool you can set the speed to medium and then fast and you see in 15 seconds it's gone and you don't have a way to stop unless you go back to pressing speed and you have to go back and enter the whole thing again. So I hope that this makes sense and it's helpful to you. As really, it is um, the main thing important to know is that basically speed and depth can be used as selecting options, as yes or no or OK. Whether only in the screen where you are uh, about to punch, they actually mean selecting speed and depth. So I hope this has been clear and helpful for most of you. And just another uh, advice uh, regarding the cartridge. Uh, remember to always um, take off your cartridge by rotating and give it a rinse with some soapy water using a toothbrush i always use a toothbrush that is i use only with this machine so um i know it's never getting dirty and after that you usually have to rinse it immediately because you can uh, remove the bigger particles of blood and skin with the toothbrush and then after that i soak the needle using chloramine, chloramine tea that I found on the, on the own doc website and you create the right amount of solution and you leave your cartridges in it for about an hour and while you soak them you just uh, uh, give it a bit of a push so the disinfectant goes in all the parts of the cartridge and once you finished washing them you give it a bit of a shake and put them on a place to dry and then you put them safely away in a closed 
box or in the box of the machine so they don't get contaminated by anything else until you use them again. So thank you very much for watching and uh, safe middling.